people love parts 1 and 2, so we are back with another crazy video on the 7 dumbest, wildest and strangest real things people have done on a cruise ship that got them banned for life, served jail time or even barely escaped death. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting off with the Captain Heckler. When you go on a cruise, you usually intend to stay the whole trip. Not this group of YouTubers whose aim it was to get kicked off the ship as quickly as possible. This is a whole different crowd, this whole cruise, so we're gonna really try to take advantage of the pranks and fuck with some people, just troll them and shit. After making some inappropriate jokes to crew members and other guests, they tried to up their game at the Welcome Comedy Show, which turned out to backfire real quick once they started heckling the captain. Have a look. You are going to have the cruise of a lifetime. Yes! Oh, this guy, let's go. Come down, please. Come down. No, I'm sorry, Thank sorry. You. I was Thank hyping him up. I was hyping him up. All right. The last but not least officer on my far right, the hotel director. Uh huh. Oh, that guy's hung. Yeah, that guy's hung like a fucking fish. Be kind. Be kind. <laughs> Thank you. The cruise director. Is he black? Do you want me to call you in my office? No, 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 no. <laughs> Did you miss the carnival ship? Is that what happened? <laughs> 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 I remember when we had our first beer. <laughs> so. Seems like you're having your last soon, huh? <laughs> you f Either shut up or get up. Ah. And this back and forth continued until the main comedian took the stage, who wasn't in the mood to play any longer. That's a good joke. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's a good joke. Right How are you guys all doing? What's the whole deal with you guys? You're doing all right. We just come to terrible uh, comedy shows just to like. No, I've been here for five minutes. I'll come down there and smack you in the mouth if you don't. Sure, do it. Do it, guys. Come here. Come here. Honest question, do you know when the main event's coming? No, so you tried to be funny and it did it, it no, died. I, no, I'm being what? serious. I'm being serious. Shut the hell up! Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop filming. Unsurprisingly, the group was kicked off the ship and banned for life from sailing with celebrity cruises again. So, congratulations. I said before, we're the only people to book a five-day cruise with the intention of getting kicked off. We were there for one day. Next up, we have a really dumb story. Flying phone. A passenger on a Royal Caribbean ship left her phone on the bus in Cozumel, Mexico. His friend, who was a passenger on the other cruise ship in port that day, decides to bring it to him. But the vessel was already pulling away. The guy then comes up with the brilliant idea of attempting to throw the phone onto the ship. Let's have a look. We're moving. You better hurry, we're moving. <laughs> no way! It ain't gonna work. <laughs> you better no way! It's gonna hit the lifeboat. Oh my god! Oh! Not only did he miss the ship and lose his friend's phone, but he was then also fined for littering by local port authorities. But at least the crowd was entertained. Next up we have 21 million dollar slam. Watch this. This Illinois businessman was hit in the head by a sliding door on a Holland America cruise ship during a world cruise. Now this might not seem like a big deal, and in fact the passengers seemed fine and actually finished the 280 day world cruise. But after getting off the ship he decided to sue the cruise line for the incident, claiming brain damage, seizures and mood swings. He was full of life, he was funny, he was energetic, that man's gone. He was awarded 21 and a half million dollars, which is 20 million dollars more than this man who was wrongfully imprisoned for 43 years. But that's not even the outrageous part. The businessman's former assistant later came forward and claims her ex-boss lied about his symptoms and deleted emails that would damage his case. 
He, quote, spent considerable time researching seizures and watching internet videos of people having seizures to see what they looked like. With this new evidence of fraud, the cruise line appealed and the charges were dropped. Moving on to viral jumps. In previous parts, we've seen passengers jump off the ship in an attempt to make a viral video, which is just an extremely dumb thing to do. Today, we have two more iterations of this. Firstly, impatient immigrant. When arriving in a new port, every cruise ship has to go through immigration clearance, which means they file documents to the local government before they can allow any passenger to disembark. Now this passenger got so impatient he decided to jump off the ship and enjoy the Caribbean Ocean before anyone else. Needless to say, because he illegally entered the Caribbean country, he was apprehended by police, deported and banned for life from carnival cruises. Next up, Bow Jumper. Similarly, watch this guy that sent his friend down to the pier to record him jumping off the front of the ship. Well, both passengers were kicked off the ship and banned for life from Princess Cruises. That was awesome. <laughs> Not so awesome after all. Welcome to Port Canaveral, the world's second largest cruise port. It's really no surprise to find out that cruise ships enter and leave this port on a daily basis and that a vessel nearby needs to stay clear of a cruise ship's path. But a group of spring breakers entered that pass on a jet ski just as the carnival magic was leaving harbour. The college students then lost control and capsized, but luckily an officer was able to rescue them in the last second, before the jet ski was rammed by the incoming ship. It's, it's unbelievable how close we were, honestly. Now that's a close call. Lastly, to wrap it up, we have a short bonus video of a young passenger rail surfing on board. Oh, even though it looks pretty scary, thankfully she only walked away with minor injuries and promised to never rail surf again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, consider checking out the two previous parts of this video linked below and subscribe for more traveling content coming very soon.